So, we are here in uh, Bjerwuvjesa in uh, Poland, actually to photograph bisons. But uh, until now, we haven't been that lucky because we have only seen uh, bisons two times and for a very short time. But now, the other night, we saw a fox running out in the meadow here. And uh, of course, we cannot resist to uh, just try to see if we can get a photo of the little fellow running out there. But uh, right now, he's not there. So instead, I'm going to see if I can make some photos of the beautiful birch trees out there. And the moon has just come up uh, and it's full moon. I don't know if it's possible to make anything, but uh, I think we're going to try. And we is a, a Simon and me. I don't know if you remember Simon from the video when I was in Ellesmere Island and he was kind to go and made, uh, make his first uh, video in my forest with a little fire and stuff and he read up a letter from Ellesmere Island that I wrote in my tent. Um, but now there he is again, sitting, smiling, waving. So yeah, I'll not be a lot of talking here because uh, talking is not the best combination with wildlife photography, but I just wanted to tell where we are and what we are doing. We are here for about 11 days and yeah, let's see what we get and uh, let's see how much uh, time I have to set up the little camera, but uh, yeah, let's make some photos.
Yes. seen uh, some red deer so we think um, about 200 meters ahead um, now we are leaving the backpacks here and uh, trying to uh, sneak in on them just go with a little 150 to 600 uh, hopefully because I have to bring that camera and then it's easier. So uh, let's see what we get. I don't know if you can see them, but they are uh, to the left of the pine tree around. There. <sighs> okay. It looks like Simon is ready. See if I can get to that tree ahead because we are a little better hidden then. Oh shit. Damn it. There was like a large group of them, but uh, we have the wind in the back and we have no options to get around because it's forest and it's very noisy. But uh, They ran away, all of them, and I think there was like six or seven or maybe more. Um, I think I got one foot off, but it was really, really hard because there was so much uh, vegetation and without the tripod it's really hard to uh, do manual focus because you can't zoom in and stuff. But let's see, let's see. So we were just talking about uh, the images are not like super crisp and um, even though the shutter speed everything was good and the focus is good but it, um, I think it's because the ground is really really cold now because it has been frost tonight and now with the sun up the temperature is like, like dramatically rising I think it's like plus five or something and in the night it was minus five so it looks a little like regardless if you have everything on the tripod it looks like there's some heat haze um in in the air so that everything just looks even though with a with a big canon prime or my nikon uh, prime or the tamron everything just looks a little soft but um 
I think with a little sharpening on it, it'll be, it'll be awesome. And uh, just because we haven't seen a lot of animals, it was just amazing to just walk around here. We were walking very silent. I didn't turn on the little camera there because we just tried to keep everything as quiet as possible. And then suddenly, whew, it's really nice. So now it's time for something to drink and uh, yeah, time to move on and see what's, maybe we're going into the forest to see what's happening in there. Also because the light is extremely hot right now. So uh, we might benefit a little from the shadow in the forest and see if we can, yeah. So uh, yeah, time to move on. So uh, we have just seen a group of bisons. We were walking down there uh, looking for a, a fox. Uh, we could see the tracks and suddenly we just heard the branches was breaking and there was something heavy in the forest. And uh, it, it was the bisons. And now they are up there uh, relaxing and we are on maybe 200 meters. Um, so they don't notice us. Now the plan is to see if we can uh, just do the 600 like so, handheld, just to avoid a lot of uh, banging uh, through the trees with the um, tripods. So uh, now they are relaxing, and we should. It should be possible for us to get a little closer. But look at this forest; it's so noisy. Yeah, batteries in the pocket, extra memory cards. And uh, we leave our camera bags here again to be light and make it easier to uh, sneak around. So uh, let's see if we are lucky to get some of the first muskox photos in the forest. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Simon is uh, at the tree trying to photograph and I want to see if I can get just a little further up here to get in that position.
just need to see if I can get a little free of the vegetation. There are some small branches and they are a little annoying because the sun is shining. So uh, yeah, let's see. like silent I can't even take one step without breaking a branch but they can apparently just walk really really like silent <sighs> we have to go back now they they walked out to the meadow I think and now we'll see if we can get out and get them out there with a with a backlight but regardless oh this has been amazing just to get these beautiful animals in the forest oh, I can't wait to see the photos but uh, your photos um, I'm pretty satisfied but but yeah I actually wish that we had them for for quite a longer time than we had but uh, I guess this is a circumstances one do you also struggle with their with their branches I yes, know yes a lot with the branches a lot with the branches but yeah try to do some manual focus but it's pretty difficult when you're hand holding a 600 millimeter so you also looked uh, really surprised there uh, when they came through the bushes down there, <laughs> like just me. Walked, oh. just walked there like 10, 15 seconds before and then you have this big herd of, I don't know, six, eight, maybe big bisons just rolling through. So, yeah. <sighs> Let's go and see if we can find them again. Yeah. Maybe we should give them a little rest or something. Yeah, I think <sighs> that would be a good idea. I don't know if you can see anything. I'm blinding myself my, with my with this one, so. Uh, but um, it's just because suddenly everything just. Uh, yeah, we we were hiking and hiking and hiking, and we didn't see the uh, the bison. Uh, only some tracks, and we tried to track them, but there was nothing. And then just before um, sunset. We saw two bisons eating some hay that the farmers apparently put out uh, all the way here in Biavu uh, Viesa. Um, uh, so uh, and that they do that so they pre to prevent that the bisons are eating their corn and stuff like that. Um, so they were eating a stack of hay, and that was awesome. So uh, we got some photos. Um, tried to not get the huge haystack in the pictures too much. Uh, but that was challenging. Now, as you can see, it's if I turn off the light, it's pretty uh, dark. The moon is up though behind me, but um, I really don't know if this worked. I just thought I uh, wanted to say that Simon and I are going home now. Simon is packing his gear. Or well, here, let me see. Yeah. Hey, Simon. Hello. <laughs> so that's pretty pretty dark. Yeah, it is. I don't know if it will focus on anything, uh, who cares. It's a, such a beautiful, quiet night. The stars are up, the moon is there. We will uh, head back to our little cozy cabin. Time to get a cold beer, some coffee, uh, something to eat, and then, yeah, look through all the photos. So, uh, yeah, time to say good night. <laughs>